right, what is up guys? We are at the AutoZone on today's video since it's a warm sunny day it's about 60 degrees we are doing the oil change I got the Euro Castrol here fully synthetic for the Corrado I got my strut bar I got my jack and some uh, oil filter and let's get this rolling well as I said today is the good chance for me to do the oil change so the car will be good to go on spring so let's get this done Wow, that was a clean E30. I have to remove my skid plate. See, that's very easy. It's very thick. And now I can reach the oil filter and the 13 mil for the oil pan. All right. All right, we got the 36 mil and let's do the old filter call it on time guys for 10 seconds see where is the whole level at and we go from there Check the oil, we wait a minute for the oil to go down and uh, we're gonna recheck the level. Meanwhile, let me clean those mess. Boom. Everything is cleaned, no more jack stand, the jack is in the trunk, I top off the oil. 
All right, here's the new bar, guys. Strauss Tower Bar Brace. It's supposed to be for the Corrado. I do have those already pre-drilled. This is from Autotech. This is lighter and um, well, more shinier. The one I have there, it's been there for ages. Okay, so I measured, I leave some mark in here and in here. I take care of this side and we'll move to the other side. So let me start by drilling that my drill bit. Let's see if I can make that happen. And we are good to go. Measure twice and drill once. Let Let's give it a cold start for the boys. All right, while well, the car is warming up, I want to clean up the tools. So one, two, three, just like that, the tools are all set. Guys. What are the odds that I'm gonna see a Corrado on the street right now in Whitestone Bridge? <laughs> That's like impossible, guys. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> it's a VR6. <laughs> Try to do an over pull if I got no if I, if I got a chance, but uh, let's see. I doubt, guys. So hyped again behind the wheels, guys. You don't believe what happened to me. I got arrested, I got my hands on the handcuff because apparently there's a fire behind me when I was just taking pictures. So the police just stopped me and then put me on handcuff. And uh, and he said, give me your idea. You are under arrested. How many people did you see here? And uh, and he said, uh, stay in your car. I have your ID. So I got my hand on the handcuff for the first time in my life. Oh my God, it was so crazy. So as you guys can see, they are in the back there. So the police, the police officer was very nice. And... Uh, and uh, he was uh, just trying to do his job like because he's suspecting that someone threw a fire in the building because those buildings are just uh, abandoned so no one lives there and then he took my ID just to make sure but he put me on a handcuff and then I was trying to keep my heads together like stay calm and trying to explain to him it was only me here and then there was two people walking I was here in that driveway all the time so in the other side I didn't see anybody 
that's it so you still have my driver's license so i'm here you said stay in your car i wait and then i'm waiting well that was crazy so i'm here